welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new welcome I'm gonna read another children's book tonight and the name of that book is all by myself by Mercer Mayer okay I want those of you that have not joined me to go back and see I've read one more book this is going to be a series of course remember to press that uh, like button and subscribe if you like what you see and I know you will you're welcome as a new yummy babe any time let's get started I'm here ready for bed and let's read a bedtime story all by myself by Mercer Mayer can get out of bed all by myself. There he is in bed <laughs> all by himself and he can get out of bed all by himself. I can button my overall All, of course, by myself. I can brush my fur. There he is, brushing his fur. You have to groom yourself, of course. You're a big person when you learn how to do that. I can put on my socks. A bit of a struggle, but he's getting it done. And tie my shoes. Well, he tied them together, but stay on point. He tied the shoes. I can pour some juice for my sister. He's pouring it and help her eat breakfast. Maybe off the top of his head. <laughs> I can pull a duck for her. I can drive my truck. See, he's pulling his little sister on the little wooden duck. And he's driving his truck. I can ride my bike. I can give a drink to my bear. Hmm, good looking out. I can kick my ball and roll on the ground. Do you ever roll on the ground? Do you think rolling on the ground is fun? I do. I can pound with my hammer. He's pounding with his hammer. I can sail my boat. I can sail my boat. Oh my goodness, it's taking a lot of wind to make it happen. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> I can look after my little sister. Look at him and his little sister. Because do you know why? Family is important. That's a word. Important. Family is important and a sister or a brother a mother and a father a grandmother and a grandfather or a grandmother and grandmother and so on and so forth all of that is family <laughs> we have to look after family I can help dad 
trim a bush. Oh, it looks like roses. And he's getting in there, isn't he? He's got his face, serious face on. He's right on point with that. Or ice a cake with mom. <laughs> well, he looks like he's eating the icing off the cake. but <laughs> That's okay, too. <laughs> okay. I can look at a book and find a mouse. He can look at a book and he can find a mouse. Where? Maybe he found two mice. Two mice, should I say. One in the book and one on the floor. I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> I can color a picture. Oh, how beautiful. That's beautiful, him coloring a picture. Can you color a picture? I think you can. <laughs> Okay, I can put my toys away. At the end of the day, after we've had so much fun, it's time to put the toys away. And not perfectly, necessarily. That's not the point. The point, and stay on point, is to learn how to do it. And get my pajamas on. He can get his pajamas on. Yes, he can. I have my pajamas on. I'm ready for bed. I can brush my teeth. Brushing the food of the day from your teeth. Very, very important. Maybe you need to stand on a stool. Maybe someone picks you up. Maybe you're tall enough for the sink. But you need to brush your teeth. And I know you will. I know you will. But I can't go to sleep. I can't go to sleep. What do you think I need to go to sleep? I can't go to sleep without hmm a story. A story. We need a story before bedtime. Good night. <laughs> well, all by myself, the journey of little people, better known as children, learning how to do things for themselves, building self-confidence. A confident child is very important. And in order to create that, reading is a part of it. Giving them these little excursions around the world through books, very, very important. Your children learning to communicate, learning to speak English is very important because educating a child is different and very difficult if the child does not understand what's being said. Your, your teacher may say to you, uh, he has a comprehension problem. And you may think, oh, mm, nice word. But what she's just said, she's blown up your world. And if we don't get a handle on it, it's going to blow up his or her world too. Most children don't do well because they don't understand what's being said to them. You need to talk to your children and you need to develop your vocabulary as well. In so many, in many, many ways, emotionally, being able to give directions, giving instructions, and being able to communicate emotionally what you, what you, what you're feeling emotionally with words, and helping your child to communicate, that keeps the child safe. It makes the child smart. It keeps everybody happy. So, I can do it all by myself, but remember, sometimes you need a little. This is Yummy Mummy. Remember, that's who loves you. And good night. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to look at other videos. And please, please do share. I see you. I see you. Good night, little one.